Today's recipe is a hot and spicy mango kuchula. This is free mango here. And what type of mango is it? This is um, Julie mango. We take, we're taking a chance with Julie because we don't have mango bear or any other mango. But bear is the mango. So we're doing it with Julie to see what, how, what will happen. Okay, we just put the oil out. So we're going to make some kuchula here. The mango is already grated and uh, peel. Some is peeled, some is not peeled and grated and squeeze out all the water, the excess water. This is it here, you can see it. So we grated the mango on this side, okay? Not the small one, this, the bigger one. We did some garlic, like about a head of garlic, a little more than a head, um, a head and a half. So we get that. Did you grate or? I grate. So I it's grated garlic? Uh -huh. Yeah, grated garlic. And this is the pepper grated but it in chunk how many uh that's about six pepper the pepper is not hot so it's a regular have, scotch bonnet pepper. yes scotch bonnet pepper and then we have black, black masala black anchar masala as well as um, gonna put salt to taste. some salt to taste okay and that's basically it and vegetable oil already in, a in pot. the pot yes so let me check if to see if it well hot no it's not ready so we're going to fry that garlic. Why we frying the garlic is to when we mix the kuchula for it not to have the garlic taste. The garlic is overpowering the mango. So that's why I'm, I'm going to fry the garlic a little bit in here. Let me put it here anyway. It's not the base now, you guys. I was drinking. We're gonna fry this. Take out some of the garlic, fresh garlic taste. Usually, some people make it for the fresh garlic taste. They like it, but then when you eat it, you have this assay, this garlic, garlic in your mouth all the time. And what are we frying it on? Low heat or medium? Low heat, like that's medium heat. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so it's on medium heat, and we're doing it with. Or the name cooking oil, what you cook in the pot with any kind of oil you can use. Okay, what you like? Two pots, two pots. Uh, we just do, do a little bit to uh, fry the garlic, but after when it's done, we were gonna put some more oil to make sure the oil get all over it good. You don't use mustard oil? No, usually you use some people use must, mustard oil, but mustard oil is it have a taste after long after the taste you get it. To me it's rancid so yeah. I don't use it anymore. I use this. And then I fry. I grated everything because um it's just a little bit. So you could grate it if it's two three mango, but over that, you need to get your blender or food processor to do the mango, the garlic and the pepper. And I like to grate my mango because so when you grate this So mango, this was Julie, you said about three? Three, three Julie. Right? Three and Julie. then you let the skin on, you grate skin, it with the no. skin? Skin on. So you grate it with the skin mm -hmm. and then um, and you, you squeeze it. Yeah, the excess water. Okay. With your hands, you just squeeze yeah, it? Yeah, squeeze it with my hands. And why I like to grate my mango, I'll show you why. It come out in this kind of strip, you know, this thing, long and nice. It don't be mince up, no mince up. So, I am only doing the garlic like this. Nothing else is going to do like this. When the garlic is fried how I want it, I'm going to turn the stove off and go throw the pepper in. Just want to get the garlic piece out. That's not too high, that's higher. No. So it's like 7.5, which is a medium high, between medium and high. <laughs>
so what do you know when it's good? So it's, it's good. I'm going to take the stove. It's a change color. Yeah. Start to get a little brown. Yeah. We take the stove off. But you don't want it good. No, no, no. So it's fry. You can see it fry. So I'm going to put the pepper in. So the pepper went in. And how many pepper you said it was? About five pepper. Five? Mm -hmm. But if five you get yeah, yeah, yeah. On it. yeah. But if you get nice hot pepper, don't use five, it's one pepper and mango. So the pepper is not hot. The stove is off. Oh, so we just took the fire off. Yeah. Once you add the mango, you take it off. Yeah. As you know, the garlic, when you like the garlic, what is going on with it, you yeah, take it off. Now we're going to put our black masala. What how much masala we put in? So we put in salt now, salt to taste, and you turn. And that's it? And that's it. And then when do you add the oil to the pot? We're going to add the oil now. Bring the oil and put some in the pot from here. And you do the mango dark in color. Yeah. I do. Look at the masala. So you just uh, eyeball it? Yeah, I eyeball it. So for color, right? Yeah. So, oil going in. Rest that's, of the oil. So that's about half a cup of vegetable oil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is where you have the pitchula. And so now what do we do after this? We bottle we it. We bottle it. And then you bottle put it. Bottle it and you put it in the fridge. Oh, you don't leave it in like a out yeah. in room temperature? You could leave it out for a day or two, but after you put it in the fridge. And it will, should stay for how long? It could stay for about a month, two months. Okay. It could stay. So we could start eating it from now? You could start to eat it from now. Mm. Looks good. Yeah. Smells good too. Okay. So that's it for the kuchida. So this is the final product. That's enough salt and this is the color we want. Yes, that's the okay. correct color. In New York say they eat kuchula from all kinds of people, but when I send off my kuchula, say they never taste a nice kuchula. Kimberly mother too, she say me kuchula and she friends, they make from everybody. <laughs> So once your kuchula is finished, you can put it in a glass bottle. The glass bottle will keep it fresher for longer, rather than if you use a plastic bottle. You can leave out for a few days and then refrigerate for a month or two. If you are one who uses mustard oil, then your kuchula should last up to a year in the fridge. Also, when you're taking out your kuchula, I would recommend that you use a plastic or wooden spoon or fork. This is so that it doesn't spoil the kuchula as fast as if you were using a metal spoon. Kuchula is usually eaten with any type of roti, curry, choka, talkari, and even rice and dal. So I hope you all liked this recipe and if you did, please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. See you guys on the next video. Take care and God bless.